need to get uh, this passage from Scripture that we have for us this morning isn't as much about the healing. Uh, the, the healing is very significant that, that Jesus healed Simon Peter's mother-in-law. Commentators like to mention the fact that Simon Peter's mother-in-law, that meant that, that Peter was married. Um, and there, there were great difficulties with um, talk about giving up everything. If Peter was married, that meant that he left not only his fishing business with his father, but also his, his family, his, his wife and the children that he probably had, a mother-in-law who would have been completely dependent upon him. Those were all very important things. Um, but what I, what I really want to look at and remind us about this morning is that Jesus remembers his purpose. His purpose time and time again, woven all throughout Scripture, in Mark's Gospel and the other Gospel lessons as well. Um, we, the, the piece that stands out here is, when they found Jesus, they and the disciples, they said to him, everyone is searching for you. Actually, our, our translation has hunting, which gives me more weight to the message. Everyone's hunting you. They answered, let us go on to the neighboring towns so that I may proclaim the message there also. For that is what I came out to do. It would have been easy, I think, for Jesus in that moment when he had so many people there wanting to be cured from their diseases, from their infirmities, um, to, to capitalize on that, if you will. He had a captive audience and, and they were beating down doors trying to get to him. They were lowering people in other sections of the gospel, lowering people by the thatched roof to get down to him. Uh, and, and Jesus remembers that he's not to stay in one place and, and to do one thing of the healing and the curing, that Jesus is to go forth and to share God's gospel. That's what Jesus was about. That's what Jesus is about today. And I think that the, the hope that we have in this is that we're to remember what our purpose is to, um, to, to stick with our purpose and to remain consistent with our purpose. And what happens in my life, um, I can only speak for me, but what happens in my life is the pandemic has been hard. It has been so difficult. You know, I put on a brave face for you Sunday after Sunday and Monday through Friday morning prayer. Um, and and I, I, I need to be real, but the pandemic has been very, very difficult for me too. Um, I'm blessed with a lot of resources in terms of people and, and prayers. And, um, but everyone forgets their purpose from time to time, including you. Uh, you're, you're not alone in that when, when you wonder what the use of it is or, or whatever you may be wondering um, as your priest, your pastor, your preacher. I can be there too. Okay, I promise you, you are not alone in that. What we have this morning is a reminder that God, through Christ, remembers his purpose. And what I have to lean into time and again when, when I forget and when we forget is, is the understanding that when I can't, we can. I don't lead Ascension and Holy Trinity Episcopal Church. I, mean, I know I'm the face person with these mic Sundays or on the audio visual Sundays. Um, so I, I get the most space time with them well. But the, the best we lead in the nation, the ministry team leaders, the music and videography and lectures and all the different moving parts that we have to worship and being the faith community, we lead the NAHG together so that when when the sound is down, the video really is very really good. When um, when the ushers have a challenge with this duty, they're gifted in that duty. When I may forget my purpose, I pray to God you remember your purpose and that we do this ministry of serving Christ together. That when I can't, that we can, that the community is critical when individuals forget God's purpose active and alive and honest. So remember that when I cannot, we 